that damn work. You're not gonna make money hitting a lightning bolt. Or maybe. Ooh, ooh. And then I have it. What's up, it's Wild Bill the Night Owl with another video. Before I get into the video, I am wearing your shirt, Jesse. I want to thank you for that. Thank you for sending me a shirt through the mail. I really appreciate that. You didn't have to do that, buddy. If you don't have them, grab them. About two years ago, I bought this. It's a 94 Ford F-150. Now, I have kept it original, like my friend Billy wanted me to. So if you don't know who he is, I made an old video. Uh, with my old channel he passed away from pancreas cancer I would say about two years ago so I bought that bought his truck and he wanted me to keep it original and that's what I did so the only thing I did with it is I got new tires on it. I like the white lettering. All the way around. Okay. And in fact, I'll show you the inside. See, I kept it all nice and clean, like I promised Billy. Let's pop the hood. Now, <clears throat> I put a new alternator on there. That went off. New terminal wires on each side. Fears that idiot's got to park next to me while I'm doing the video. I did replace the water pump. I don't know if you can see it down there. And This pulley here and that pulley down there, these two black ones, and the belt. Oh, and of course, the battery. The reason why I'm making this video is because a little over two years ago, I didn't have this truck. This truck, even though it's old, 94, it's gotten me a lot of jobs that I could not get with my 2005 
Buick Century. And you know what? I appreciate, I really appreciate, and I am very thankful that I got this truck. One, because it was Billy's. He was my best friend, too. Real good guy. And this has benefited me over the last two years. You've seen my videos where I I have brush in the back, cleaning out uh, stuff, and I still have more jobs like that. But without it, I wouldn't be able to do that. And without that, I wouldn't be able to make the money that I have. Without this truck also, I wouldn't be able to have a tractor put all my equipment that I need in here because when I just had the car, the Buick, all I could get basically in there was one push mower and it had to be a small one. It couldn't be, you know, anything bigger than a 21 inch. I even had trouble putting my red Toro in there. Not the Super Recycler, the other one. I'll make a video about that. That thing, we'll wait to another video. So, it doesn't matter what year the truck is. I guess it matters how big you want the truck, the bed. I honestly, I like an eight, eight foot bed. I really do because it fits everything in there. Even my tools, I can put a toolbox right here. I still got, I don't know, I would say six foot. So yeah, everything fits perfectly in here. I don't even have to get a trailer. I don't need a trailer. Now, I was <coughs> given a trailer. I never wanted it. I never asked for it. Hell, I didn't even know the people were coming down until the night before. <laughs> Stupid. So anyway, let's just say I don't have the trailer anymore. Okay? This truck has been very, very good to me. Some people want, oh, I gotta have a new truck. I didn't want a new truck. I like this body style. I love this body style. I'd rather had this than a new truck. The new trucks, you got new features that I wouldn't even use. I don't even like using, I don't have one, but I have driven vehicles that have the backup camera. I hate them. Oh, I do. I, I just hate them. <coughs> I'm old school. It's not going to be like that forever, though. Eventually, I might have to buy a new truck. But I'm happy with this. It's been a very, very good truck to me. I have to admit that. Yeah, I know. I haven't taken that to dump yet and that's another nice feature because I can just leave it in here until I need it out so can't do that with the Buick I'll tell you what every time I pull up to somebody's house I usually get a new customer because it seems like every time I would pull up this season somebody would always drive up or something hey uh, can you do my lawn yeah sure let me uh, look at it and I'll give you a price <clears throat> I never had that happen with the Buick 
I don't know, maybe it's because I got the truck. I don't know who, I don't know. But yeah, it, it's really benefited me with, with brush, uh, cutting stuff down, you know, the tree. Now, before I came back to YouTube, I had a tree that I had to trim. Man, was that a job. Whew. But I did it. This truck was filled all you know all the way up to the top. Two times. Man, I stuffed that stuff in there. Oh. And I tied it down, took it to the dump. This truck <laughs> has been to the dump so many times. It's crazy. But hey, it's money. And see that's the main factor about having a truck because you can make a lot more money because you don't have to worry about them hauling it off you lose money that way if you haul it off you gain money so I'm happy about that I guess what I'm trying to say is I am thankful for it don't have to be new you know this is used I'm happy with it. It makes me money. It's my everyday drive, too. Yeah, did I have problems? Yeah. You're going to have problems with a new truck, too. Maybe not as much, but... And just about everything that was wrong with it, I fixed myself. So, hey, if I can fix it, I know you guys can. Because I'm no mechanic. <laughs> so uh I tell you one a piece of advice when there's something for sale or a good price that's beneficial to you get it if you can afford it get it it will make it will make you money trust me it has to me I'm gonna close this one out do something nice for somebody if you like my content subscribe to me and I will see you on the next one peace